today we're looking at a carrier package unit that is not cooling properly anyway. Um, this particular unit is handled by an energy management company. I have verified with them that there is a call for cooling. So as soon as I turn it on, it should cool. Let me uh, pull off some of these panels and then we'll dig into it and I'll bring you along for the ride, all right? I was informed that there was another company out here working on this unit. So before I start it up and really do anything else, I decided to pull the panels off and just give it a visual once over, see if I can see anything obvious. Um, looks like we've had a little bit of smoke detector work. There was a, a alarm company here when I got here, so maybe doesn't look like they replaced the smoke detector, but maybe they did something with the uh, smoke alarm system. I'm gonna put a zip tie on that. That's kind of flopping around like that. Uh, and obviously that panel was on there. I just took it off just so I can kind of look at everything first before I power it on and get started. It was on when I got here. There were no there were no fault codes or anything like that. This particular unit is capable of showing fault codes for the heat circuit, but nothing for the cool circuit. But yeah, belt looks good. There's a spare right there. Blower is nice and clean. Evaporator is nice and clean. Um, I mean, no burnouts. You can tell where the some wiring for the old smoke detector used to be. What they would do on most of these, they would just break our control voltage. Although they probably shouldn't leave these wires just bare like that, flopping around. All it takes is for one of these wires to touch something and short out, so I'll address that a little bit later. But I don't see anything uh, anything alarming on this, so I'm going to pop these panels back on and we'll start it up and see what she's doing. Alright, I just powered the unit on. I got my meter and a common side. just want to make sure we have 24 volts on our red, on our terminal board. We should have a Y1 signal, 25 volts, which we do. We don't have a Y2 yet. This particular location doesn't go into Y2 until the uh, inside ambient temperature reaches 76. So we're still in we're still in stage one cooling, but I don't have any compressor action yet. And we do have an economizer, so chances are chances are it's maybe thinking about doing some free cooling. Uh huh. And no, it doesn't look like it's open, so. It's probably gonna go through the economizer, run for a little bit, decide if the mixed air temperature is gonna be enough to cool the space down, and then it'll kick over to stage one in probably just a minute or two here. been running for about five maybe ten minutes by now uh, I still don't have any compressor action I did just verify I still have a Y1 signal but I have nothing to any of my contactors you see right there nothing oh, that's my indoor blower contactor sorry so we'll step up here and we're going to check our safety circuit logic circuit pressure circuit, whatever you want to call it. The right side is our incoming power going into the board from from our economizer. I have nothing. Here's our stage two, nothing. Again, nothing. I have no voltage going into my logic circuit. Um, so, now, since I don't have anything coming into my logic circuit, my safety circuit for my economizer, let's go down here and check this out. So, we have Y1 right here. That's our verified 24 volts that we already double checked. Comes down, goes down into, comes out of the board actually after it comes in our, from our thermostat into our low volt terminal board. Comes down and it goes out of this Molex connector over to our economizer, then blue, 
This is just an optional jumper that's right here. That is not installed on this unit. So we follow our blue all the way over here. And then blue will go up in here to terminal number one. Now, assuming, since this is Michigan, I like to set my economizers on D, which is only free cooling, I think, at 63 degrees. So, assuming this is set up properly, we're not in free cooling, this relay should close, and I should get 24 volts back through this gray wire. This number five, I believe, is just a dummy terminal, but we should get 24 volts coming back through this gray wire, coming down, down, down through our gray, Forget about this jumper, come back over here, come back over here, and this is our returning gray. So, once we return back to the control board, the uh, low voltage terminal board, we come in through here, and we go over here to an optional reheat control. Now there's nothing right here, but if you look at this little jumper, which if you do have the reheat control in there, you cut that. So, we come over here on our on our number five, our gray wire, and this actually jumps over here. So let's follow this jumper back around here, and we go up here, up here, up here, over to four on our uh, compressor one circuit. Then we follow this little violet jumper to our number five. From number five, we go into low pressure in, go through our low pressure, out the low pressure, and then over to this is also an option. We don't have that. So we come out of the out of the low pressure, come in to the high pressure side, and then we go out this. And assuming these pressure switches are closed, which they should be, we come back over here to six. And then six is our blue wire that goes up through an optional low ambient kit, which we don't have on this, this unit either. And then from there, we come into our contactor. So. I am guessing that somewhere in this economizer we have an issue. So let's go check out the economizer real quick. Sure if that's picking that up on camera. Let me see if I can get a better angle of that. You can barely see it, but the free cooling light is on. It looks like our temperature set point is set at A, I believe. Yeah, it looks like it's set at A, which is 73 degrees. Even though it's hotter than 73 today, we still still shouldn't be in free cooling. So I'm going to turn it over to D. So we should only cool at 63 degrees. Make sure my minimum position is set. All right. Let's see, here is our, this orange wire is our stage two going out. So right here, this is our stage two Y2 call for cooling if we were to have a stage two. Blue right here is our stage one. Now, if you notice this wire nut here, that's not supposed to be there. And if you look at this right here. So here's our stage one call for cooling. And it's supposed to come out of this terminal right here, but you can tell if it's picking it up on camera. I know it's kind of dark in there but there's not a terminal on there. For whatever reason, somebody cut this and put a wire nut, but they left this side on our dummy terminal. I'm not sure why they would do that. Um, yeah, so let's just move that. All right, so move this up to our number two terminal. So that we should have an outgoing signal back to our control board. However, if you can tell down there, let me get these wires out of the way. You can see we're still in free cool mode. And it's probably 80, 82 degrees out here roughly. So 
Now this is equipped with a, uh, you know what, look at that, see right here. Let's go back over here and check our schematic real quick. I want to double check something before I start spouting off at the mouth. Let's see, I just noticed something over there, yeah, right here. So real quick, let's track out our our stage two, just because I want to show you something here in a second. So if we had a call for stage two, it comes down here, goes down through here, through our number four. This is just a little reminder that it comes back up through orange. But we come down through yellow, number four, come over here, yellow, right here. So this is our yellow. And right here, we have a low ambient lockout, and it's just a bimetal thermostat that's just sitting on the cabinet over there. And then once we get over to number three, assuming this isn't calling for free cooling, which it still is, we would have a signal coming out from orange and it would come back here and it would come out through this orange. Now, again, just like stage one, when we come back from our orange call, it'll come over here, go over here to our optional reheat connector. It'll come down to this jumper, which you can cut and then this jumper connects over to here. We go up to our number four on our compressor two terminal. We go across this violet jumper right here, follow this dotted line down here. That will take us to our low pressure, high pressure circuit. We go in our low pressure side, go through the switch, and we come out the other side. Then we go back into our high pressure side, go out the switch, come out of the high pressure side into the, this dotted line into number six, which turns into our orange wire, goes through this optional low ambient kit, which we don't have. And then we go into our, our number two contactor. Now going back over here, I seen this low ambient lockout kit, but the wires going to it are not yellow. So let's go, remember that, let's go back over here and double check this. I think somebody got into this economizer and started messing around when they shouldn't have. So if you look right here, this, yellow wire right here is our incoming Y2 signal. Now keep in mind we don't have a Y2 signal so I'm not too concerned about that because there's a jumper on it which is fine I'm okay with that. It's an optional jumper you don't have to use that but if you look over here this orange and green wire are on this low ambient lockout switch. Now we follow this over to our economizer board. That orange and green go to SO negative, SO plus. I forget what that means, supply outdoor or something. Um, we'll come back over here. Let's follow this. Uh, did I think that? SO plus, there are different colored wires, but SO plus and SO negative go to an outdoor enthalpy sensor. Which is not what they're hooked up to. So, let's go back over here. I already removed this filter. Now if you look right over here, there, there is an outdoor enthalpy sensor, and there's no wires attached to it. Somebody put our wires that are supposed to go to the outdoor enthalpy sensor on our low ambient lockout. So let's move those real quick. I'm not a genius when it comes to economizers, but I've seen this a couple times where people either think they, they know what's going on with economizers or maybe they think they know a trick to get them going or they just don't flat out understand them and they just start putting wires on stuff. So it's not that uncommon to see. All right. Put 
right in there. All right. Now we are connected to our outdoor enthalpy sensor. Let's power this back on. And if my calculations are correct, we should no longer have free cooling. Immediately my compressor came on. We can get in there. I don't know if it'll pick it up, but our free cooling light is no longer on. Let's go back over here. We can see our stage one compressor contactor is pulled in. 24 volts going to it. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna initiate, I'm just gonna jumper a call for stage two cooling just to verify that our stage two comes on. And it came on immediately. And then we'll just verify at our high pressure switches just to show you what I was talking about earlier. There's our 24 volts going in, 24 volts going out. Our contactor is pulled in. Let's get a quick amp draw of our compressor. I still have to go back and close the uh, the air damper over there. Well, I can't get on there to get an amp draw without cutting some zip ties off to cut some zip ties here in a minute, guys. All right, let me uh, put these panels back on and uh, get a proper amp draw, and then we'll start taking some supply temps, all right? We've been cooling for about 10 minutes now. I have a supply of 54.1 at the unit. Return of 77. So we got 23 degree split right there. That's pretty good. Uh, our trap is still really, really dry. It's, it's been dry for days. So all that's left to do now, guys, is call our energy management company and make sure they have proper communication and we will be all set. It looks like whoever was here before just miswired our economizer for whatever reason. The initial call that sparked that, I'm not sure. Um, I don't really have time to speculate why they were sent out here or whatnot. So anyway, that was a pretty interesting one for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. Um, we'll see you on the next one, all right? Like and subscribe. Shoot me some comments, some emails, tips, anything you got, all right?